This hospital is considered to be the largest rural health facility in the province and receives referrals from district hospitals and primary health care services. Centred around critically ill patients in the ICU, this new digital health technology aims to bring fast and efficient care to patients. So for me it's about the whole issue about the digital health using technology but also to save cost because what they're going to do now they want to want to assess at what extent uh, that uh, there's been an improvement in the patient conditions the improvement in the length of stay uh, for the patients but the main thing is about we don't want to leave the rural behind uh, because protest care is for everyone george hospitals everyone in the garden route including the central karma Thanks to Georgie, the telemedicine robot, doctors from both George and Cape Town can consult patients together. So the idea is that um, we have a critical care specialist at the bedside with our team physically needing to be here. So it's been a great solution. We've been using it for about a month and we're hoping it will impact uh, patient care and maybe reduce transfers to Hridescue because we can bring a critical care specialist to, to, our, to the bedside of the patient. The new technology not only saves time and money, but it also speeds up care for the patients. It's a phenomenal saving, um, both financially, but also just on the burden of the patient to get that extra critical care input um, and prevent that unnecessary trip. I think the alternative to flying is taking ambulance crew by road, which will effectively take a crew out for the whole day, leaving leaving the emergency medical services with one less ambulance to operate in the area or EMS staff having to work overtime. So there's a lot of, lot of potential benefits. This project forms part of the department's efforts to make healthcare more accessible and equitable to residents and will hopefully be rolled out to other hospitals in the future. Segui Chetty, SABC News, George in the Western Cape.